a red alarm has been sounded by Microsoft concerning the 2024 Indian general elections. High-tech giants like Microsoft have warned about the potential threat of Chinese hackers meddling in the upcoming Indian general elections. These cyber intruders could use advanced technology, including artificial intelligence, to create AI anchors and memes, weaponizing them to interfere and influence the electoral process. According to reports from Microsoft, these Chinese hackers have already attempted large-scale disinformation campaigns using AI-generated content during elections in other parts of the world. They've honed their techniques using AI-produced memes and audio content to stir up controversies and widen divisions on domestic issues in the United States and in the Asia-Pacific region, including Taiwan, Japan and South Korea. This is not just an issue of national security, but also a threat to democracy. If these warnings hold true, the democratic process in one of the world's largest democracies could be significantly undermined. Such a threat, if real, could significantly undermine the democratic process in one of the world's largest democracies. China is no novice when it comes to leveraging AI for disinformation campaigns. This year, we've seen them test their capabilities during the Taiwanese presidential elections. The Chinese strategy was simple yet cunning. They used AI-generated content to stage a deceptive campaign, creating an illusion of a reality that didn't exist. The campaign was a masterclass in manipulation, with the Chinese influence operations using AI to generate memes and audio content. These were not just random memes or audio clips, but carefully crafted pieces of content designed to stoke tensions and exacerbate divisions. Their focus was not limited to Taiwan. They extended their digital reach to the United States using similar tactics to inflame domestic issues. The objective? To create a sense of discord and chaos thereby undermining the unity and stability of the nation. But the Chinese influence operations didn't stop there. They also targeted the broader Asia-Pacific region, including Taiwan, Japan and South Korea. Again, the strategy was the same. Use AI-generated content to stir up controversy and deepen divisions. What makes this strategy particularly effective is its subtlety. The AI-generated content blends seamlessly into the digital landscape, making it difficult to distinguish between what's real and what's not. This makes the task of identifying and countering these campaigns all the more challenging. The Chinese influence operations have shown remarkable adaptability and resilience in their approach. They've refined their techniques, enhancing their ability to manipulate public opinion and disrupt democratic processes. But perhaps the most concerning aspect of this strategy is its potential for replication. If one country can successfully use AI to manipulate public opinion and interfere in democratic processes, what's stopping others from doing the same? As we look towards the future, it's clear that these AI-driven disinformation campaigns pose a significant threat. They have the potential to destabilize democracies, disrupt elections, and manipulate public opinion on a scale we've never seen before. This trend is not just a threat to India, but to democracies worldwide. The challenge we face is not just about countering these threats, but understanding and adapting to this new digital landscape. Social media platforms are the new battlegrounds for these influence campaigns. Just as soldiers once fought on physical terrains, today's digital warriors are launching their assaults on the virtual landscapes of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and even TikTok. Chinese groups have initiated an onslaught of influence campaigns on these platforms. Their strategy? Posing divisive questions designed to provoke strong reactions and divide voters. These aren't your garden variety debates about the best football team or favourite pop star. No, these are carefully crafted queries about hot button issues designed to stir up controversy and discord. For example, Questions about investment at the US-Mexico border or aid packages for Ukraine and Israel have been circulated by these groups. These issues, already rife with tension and disagreement, are perfect fodder for these influence campaigns. By posing such questions, these groups are able to provoke strong reactions, further polarizing discussions and widening the divide among voters. These campaigns are not just about sowing discord though, they have a more insidious purpose. Each reaction, each comment, each share provides valuable data. This data in turn can be analyzed to reveal trends, preferences and leanings among different demographics. 
Imagine the power that comes with knowing exactly what issues strike a chord with which demographic. This is the power that these influence campaigns are seeking to harness. By secretly gathering data on voting demographics, these groups can tailor their future campaigns to be even more effective, hitting their targets with a precision that is both impressive and alarming. So, the next time you come across a post on social media that seems designed to provoke a reaction, remember it might be more than just a post. It could be a carefully planned strategy in a larger influence campaign, and your reaction? It's more than just a comment. It could be a valuable piece of data in a larger game of digital warfare. These efforts could also be used to secretly gather data on voting demographics before the American presidential elections. The implications of these potential threats are far-reaching. Let's take a moment to consider what this could mean. The very foundation of a democratic society is the trust its citizens place in the electoral process. If this trust is undermined by foreign interference, the impact could be destabilizing. Voters may question the legitimacy of election results, causing political unrest and discord. Furthermore, the manipulation of public opinion can have significant repercussions. By using artificial intelligence to generate content that fuels divisive issues, these hackers can shape the narrative to their advantage. This can lead to a skewed perception of reality, influencing voters' choices and potentially swaying the outcome of an election. Imagine the power that comes with such manipulation. It's like having a remote control to the minds of millions, steering public opinion in any direction desired. This could exacerbate existing divisions within society, stoking the flames of conflict and disrupting the social harmony we strive to maintain. This is not just about an election. It's about the future of our societies. It's about preserving the values we hold dear, freedom, equality and the right to have our voices heard. So what can we do? The answer lies in two simple yet powerful measures, robust cybersecurity and public awareness. We need to fortify our digital infrastructure to ward off these cyber threats. Simultaneously, raising public awareness about the potential dangers and how to spot them is crucial. After all, an informed citizenry is the best defense against misinformation. In conclusion, as we move further into the digital age, the challenges we face are evolving. Our approach to preserving the integrity of our democratic processes must evolve too. We must stay vigilant, informed and proactive in the face of these threats. In the digital age, the integrity of our democracies might just be a click away from being compromised.